Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Course. Pretty excited for today's episode. We're going to be playing Course 7. Definitely one of the best courses in the game. 7 and 8 are probably the best, really, as far as just interestingness goes, because, you know, the game's like, okay, now you know everything, so let's start showing you some cool stuff. And what else is good about Course 7? Well, first of all, you get introduced to the UFO power. If you ever played Kirby D Adventure, you're like, oh yes, the UFO power, finally, we get the best power in the game, and yeah, it is pretty awesome. Everyone loves the UFO power, but uh, it doesn't, doesn't actually work like that. The Whispy Woods is kind of like, what the hell, man? What's going on? <clears throat> but, so, it took him this long to get they get us the UFO power, but at least they give it to us right off the bat here, and only for one shot, but whatever. Still pretty cool. So there's some interesting mechanics behind the UFO power, but I'll talk about them more on the next hole we get to use it on. For now, though, I just want to say it definitely gives you more free range than any other power in the game. It controls in tight 90 degree turns, which is very convenient in a game like this, where it controls on a checkerboard pattern, so pretty nice. Unless you shoot the wrong way, and then, well, more on that later. Anyways, for now let's just be satisfied with the first hole in one. Excellent. And you can kiss the UFO power goodbye until the last hole, but whatever. This course is really awesome. Got some great holes here. Hole two right here. Treacherous hole. Look at all these enemies. How are you supposed to get them all? Ah, tornado power. Yeah, excellent. It's always some great whole potential when there's a tornado power afoot. Right, anyways. So, it may be possible to get a hole in one on this hole, but if it is, it is probably the hardest thing in the world to do. Well, with the exception of the next hole, but I can't really talk about that. So, anyways, yeah, it seems like it'd be pretty impossible to get a hole in one on this hole, so I'm not too worried about getting a two here. I'm pretty sure there's no way the hate a tomato got any better than a two on this hole. So I'm going for this squishy over here first because my least favorite thing to do in this entire game is try to get in a hole on an incline with the tornado power. It's pretty much impossible. <clears throat> you gotta come like right at it from the bottom and just hope every- I, it sucks. I don't want to do it. Don't want to mess with it. But hey, I'm very satisfied with the two right there. That hole turned out pretty good. So they reused a background. I don't know why they reused this one. This one's pretty nondescript. I wish they would have reused the Metropolis or the Cakes. So, this hole right here. This hole right here is pretty hard. This is by far one of the hardest holes in the game. First of all, you have to have the power bounce mastered by now, or else you're just going to be screwed, and you're going to get an 8, or like a 10 on this hole. If you don't hit that power bounce right there, you can just you can just hit the reset button. But this shot right here, this little sequence of events, ah man, I don't want to tell you how lucky that was. I'm not going to question the game for giving me that hole in one right there, because that hole in one is like one in a hundred. It's pretty much impossible. I guess it was just serendipity that the game gave it to us right there. You might be saying, that didn't look that hard. Well, just wait. I'll talk about it more later in the video. But for now, I'm pretty pleased with the hole-in-one on that hole, because I know that it's almost impossible. So, we gotta be beating the hate of Tomato pretty good right now. So, before we look at his score, let's go ahead and take a gander at the landscape for hole four here. Got some nice enemies. Got some conveyor belts. This course makes some pretty good use of conveyor belts. I really like it. Conveyor belts are nice. So let's go ahead and see what the hated tomato got. He got a what? And he got a all holes in all holes in all holes in one. Um okay, well damn, I guess he's pretty pissed at us for uh chronically kicking his ass. Um, well, alright, uh shake it off, let's just try to make the best of this, I suppose. Ride some conveyor belts, just take it easy. Go right through the broom hater. Uh, ride some more conveyor belts. Yeah, okay. Not psyched out at all. 
by someone scoring an 8. So. I think I'm going to get this shot right here. Ha ha! Ha! Spike power! Uh, it, uh... Didn't... Didn't go in the hole. Just lean over, man. Come on, Kirby. Just... Just, you know... Like... Just, come on, man. Just lose your balance or something. Jeez. Ah. Oh, atrocious. Well, I guess we gotta go for a two right there. Oh, man. What's even the point? We already lost. Jeez. I guess let's just try to make the best of this. Okay. Anyways. Moving on to hole five. I really like this hole. Get a lot of speed. A lot of arrows. Lots of moving parts. Have to get a skill shot over this cracko here. And just a... Just a really neat hole in general. Got some nice ramps. Get some good air. Everything about this hole I like. <clears throat> so, yeah. I really like fast-paced holes because they make you feel cool when you, when you do them right. Like, yeah. So you don't always have to jump over that crack oak, but it's good to get in the habit of doing it because sometimes you do have to. So, I didn't do anything special there. I just didn't go in the hole. I don't even know what to make about that. I mean... How are you supposed to get a hole-in-one if that doesn't give you a hole-in-one? I don't know. I tried to make something happen there with the high jump power, and I almost, almost made it. But not quite close enough. Ah, <sighs> man, another hole-in-two. Things are not looking good. I mean, they're looking pretty good, but, you know, not hole-in-one on every hole, dude. Ah, jeez, whatever. Let's just keep going. You know, that background's okay. Reminds me of Secret of Mana. So this is probably the easiest hole in the game, in the course. There's only one twitch reaction you have to make, and other than that, the game will kind of just take over for you. Which is kind of neat. Power doesn't matter so much. I really like holes where the power doesn't matter, but it's right here. You gotta jump right before you hit that guy. Or else, well, you're gonna be taking some more shots. You also have to remember to use the spark power before you hit the high jump guy, or you're going to be screwed. But yeah. As long as you do that, everything turns out okay. Conveyor belts are pretty cool. So I swear sometimes this hole can mess you up, but... It's like 1 out of 100, so 99 times you'll make it. Easy. I love it. Pretty cool hole still. Pretty cool hole. Well, another hole in one. That makes me feel a little bit better. Moving right along, we got a couple of the coolest holes left. Every single hole on this course is awesome. I love all these holes. They're all so fun and neat. Lots of obstacles. Lots of they're really big. Lots of powers. So got a gauntlet of crackos right there. And then if that wasn't enough, we gotta get all the way over past those arrows and get those two pumpkin guys. Let's see if we can do it. Thankfully, we, we have this like warp speed thing here to help us. Should be okay. Gotta remember to use the spark power. And so, I get the freaking hyperdrive there, but I didn't somehow get enough speed to get over the arrows. I don't see what else I could have done differently there to get a hole-in-one. I mean, it seems like it might be impossible, but like, clearly it's not, so I don't... I'm just confused right now. I'm confused. I'm scared. I don't... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... I don't know. I'm just... I'm just trying to find a, a fun shot, I guess. Going a little nuts here. Isn't it odd how if you just move one pixel, the reticle changes so... so much? But I'm not here to nerd out on the mechanics too much. So, let's just go for this shot right here. I'm glad I nailed this shot, or else I, <laughs> or else I would have had to had to restart because I probably would have missed. All right, so it's pretty neat. I'll take that. Hole in two is not bad. I should feel pretty good about this score. We only have an 11 so far. That's a lot better than we did on course five, was it? Yeah. So here we are in the last hole, and now I want to talk a little bit more about the UFO mechanics. The thing about the UFO is you only have 10 seconds to use it, its power, and after that it's just going to sink to the ground. But the thing is, I have a lot of ground to cover here to get all the way around. 
So what you have to do is you have to use top spin to get Kirby moving a little bit faster because the way the UFO power works is the speed of the USO is directly proportional to the speed Kirby's traveling when you use it. So if I was barely moving, I wouldn't be going very fast at all. And even with full top spin here, you'll see that I just barely have enough time to get over to the hole. <clears throat> Kirby goes down that ramp right there all on his own, and he also went into the hole all on his own. It's kind of cool, really. It's pretty neat. I'm not going to ask questions about how or why that works. It just did, and I'll take it. Awesome. Well, ended up with a 12. That's more than enough for a gold medal, but not even close to the hated tomato. I don't... I don't know what to make about that, man. That's something else. All holes in one? I don't... what a... I don't know. Well... Every dog has his day. Okay. I guess he got... I guess he got one course. That's fine. He'll get his on course eight, I'm sure. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm a little scared now. He might have just been toying with us this whole time. And we didn't even beat his practice run. Are you kidding me? Oh jeez. What the what the heck? Wow. Wow. Well. Okay. Well, if you're looking at your little time bar down there at the bottom, <clears throat> you'll see that there's videos not even close to being over yet. And that's because I want to introduce a new segment that I like to call shit that can go wrong in this game. I'm going to change up the music right here, um, because my editing skills are abysmal. So please don't hate me for the roughness that this is going to be. It's going to be very rough. Like, bang, here we are on hold two. I do all this in virtual dub, so, you know, I did the best I can, man. I didn't get in this for the editing. I got in it for the love of the game. Whatever, I'm just kidding. Alright, so anyways, I said that this hole right here, hole two, it's possible to get a hole in one, but it's really hard. So check this out. I'm going to go through some different examples here. Take note of where I use the tornado power every time if you can. So that time I used it a little bit too late. And this next time, you'll see. Take note of where he is in relation to the status bar. I used it a little bit earlier that time, but it was so much earlier that I even missed the squishy down there. So. Clearly, I have to be somewhere in between those two shots, but they're so similar to each other. I mean, how can you even tell? Very tricky to say the least. Now take a look and see if you can even spot the difference in the t between the times I use it this time. Bang, because you see, I used it just a little bit later. And in doing that, I can just barely hook around there and get everything. So things are looking pretty good. We're home free, right? No, we're not. Oh, just a little bit short. So even after all that, we are still just too short. You might have thought that I wasted some speed by going a little bit more outside than I had to, but no, because this time I'm going to go straight for it, and still too short. It's just not enough, man. So you have to do something like this. Check this out. What you have to do is you have to get as high up this incline as possible and then go all the way down. So this should be good, right? Oh! Kirby, a little bit closer, but it's still not enough. So how in the world are you supposed to do it? I got as high up as I could. Well, it's like this. Check this out. You have to use this little ramp right here, and yes, somehow that gives you a little bit of speed. Just enough to come back off of it and get in the hole, hole in one. And as far as I know, that's the only way to do it. So, that's how the hell you get a hole in one on hole two. <coughs> Moving right along hole three here. I wasn't kidding when I said that hole three is a one in a hundred to get a hole in one. But before we get to the things that can go wrong on this hole, I want to illustrate the necessity of using a power bounce. So I'm just going to take a nice ground shot right here, full power, right off, right over, but not even close to getting all the way up. And I essentially am going to end up right back up where I started at. So yeah, you see what I mean now when I say you could easily end up with an eight if you if you don't understand how to how to power bounce because you got to go over there and get that kaboo also somehow 
and right here I'm going to show how even a full charged aerial full spin shot can't get you up there either. I don't know, that's not that interesting, but I just decided to do that anyways. So, enough of those shenanigans. Let's get on with the things that can really go wrong in this in this hole. First of all, we'll go approach ourselves nicely to the warp up here. This is kind of a funny shot. I didn't mean for this to happen, but, you know, what are the odds, right? Anyways, this is a nice jump-off spot for us to start illustrating some of the just atrocious things with this hole. So, first shot here. This is something that can easily happen. I'd say maybe, like, 25 of the 100 times, you know? Come off come off the warp speed here. And, oh, I'll stop just a little bit early. But was it too early? I mean, you know, maybe that's a user error. Or is it? Because this is what the alternative is if you don't use it that early. Here we are coming off the thing again. And I'm going to wait a little bit longer this time to use it. And I do. And then, ha! Huh! Oh, wow, way to be a jackass, Kirby, and not stick to the freaking floor there and just hop out of the hole. How does that even happen? Oh, that's going to, what's going to happen like 50 out of the 100 times at least. Jeez. And then here's some more fun things that can happen. I go ahead and just take a full power shot there and hit my... I don't know. I just I just, I just, just always think it's funny to hit hit crackers and, <laughs> and just get knocked, knocked the hell out. But anyways, that would never actually happen in a real shot. But this sure would. Yeah, this shot right here, just, you know, we've seen what's going to happen here before, but I just feel it's necessary to underscore just the, the internal luck based in this game. Oh, you got shocked by the lightning? Too bad, buddy, you're going to be bouncing right over the freaking hyperdrive there. Yeah, end up in the water. Way to go. And then, um, I think right here I just show off an interesting water mechanic. Oh, no, that's me just being a little too bouncy with it. I mean, you know, how are you supposed to control how you're bouncing off the freaking ramp, man? You just can't. But here's an interesting water mechanic. Yeah, check this out. This is just kind of funny. I'm going to come over the water, power bounce off the water right there. And it just gives you, like, some hellacious speed for some reason. I don't know why, but it's pretty cool, isn't it? I don't know. The speed mechanics in this game, when you're at full speed, are pretty interesting when you use power bounces. But anyways, here's the final, well, the second elastic move. Watch closely here. Bang! I just bounced off the bank of the pool there. Not the edge of the hole, the bank of the of the pool. And I mean, you can't do anything about that. That's all luck. That's There's nothing you can do about that. And then finally, here's the last thing. Oh, sorry. You're just not going to have any chance of getting in that time, because no matter where you stopped, you're not going to get in. <sighs> so yeah. That's what's going to happen the other 99 times you try that shot. So, yeah, a lot of shit can go wrong on hole 3. But anyways, moving on to hole 4 here. I, uh, I couldn't remember what I had got on this hole originally, so I'm just showing off a different way to miss this hole. It's basically the same, but I don't use the spike power this time. Eh, I probably could have cut this out, but who cares. Let's just go with it. Let's go with it, man. Let's go with it. It's all good. <clears throat> you know, you think you're going to make it. That power bounce didn't do anything. I would have missed that no matter what. So yeah, here's how you're really supposed to do it. Come off the conveyor belt there. you got to power bounce once off the ground, power bounce off the edge here, and then that's enough speed to go take you right over the hole, right up the ramp, and then you can get in the hole. And that's how you have to do it. And if you power bounce one too many times, you'll just stay at the top of that second incline, and then you'll just be screwed again. So yeah, that's the really the precision that that hole takes. But here's something that's completely out of my control. Just a dick move of the game. Something else that can go wrong. Watch, I'm not power bouncing or anything, just minding my own business. And can you even tell what happened there? I talked a little bit in the thread about how a quarter of a, how a, quarter of a square can really screw you. And it, I really highlight it here. Because check this out, no matter what I do, I'm just going to be screwed because I'm going to lose all momentum I have because I'm going to lip out on the hole right there. And just that, it's just impossible to get a hole in one when the conveyor belts just pick you up a little bit too late. Nothing you can do about it, it just happens sometimes. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Not gonna do anything about it. But here on hole five, <laughs> a lot of funny things can go wrong in this hole. 
Um, first of all, I'm just going to take another shot again. Just, you know, try it out. See if I can't get a hole in one. Just the regular way. See if, see if maybe last time was just a fluke. But it doesn't seem like it was, because like, I missed again. So, you know, I mean, you know, it's just... We'll see later if it's even possible to actually get a hole in one. Of course it is, but, you know. This is one of the funniest ways to mess up in the game. <laughs> So you go off the high jump, you know, just mind your own business, and then bang, aw, right in between the two hyper drives. It's too bad. <laughs> better luck next time, Kirby. Jeez, man. Wow. Why didn't you try jumping a little bit better? I mean, seriously, what are you supposed to do about that? But anyways, on the same note, check this one out. Just a little bit under three quarters, and aw, bounce right in between them again. <laughs> it's not your day, is it, Kirby? Ah. <laughs> Kirby's probably getting a little pissed right now. But anyways, uh, this shot I just left in because I thought it was funny. Get electrocuted and then jump. And then go, go right over here. This actually almost goes in. And if I would have just mixed in a power balance, I probably could have actually made that. That would have been neat. <laughs> Maybe that's how they expect you to do it. I don't know. So, this shot right here I think is just me. <laughs> um, again, with my fascination of getting... Getting, getting knocked the hell out by by Krakos again. I don't know, it's just always funny. <laughs> and finally, here I am just coming off regular, you know, no power bounces or anything, just coming off, you know, the hyperdrives again, and right into the hole. Nothing different, it's just that time he decides to go in. You know? Can't do anything about it. It's just sometimes you make it, sometimes you don't. A lot of shit can go wrong in this game. A lot. Well, not too much else wrong with the other holes, so this is going to be the final one. Just going to do some uh, funny things here. <coughs> this first shot right here, I like to call, you better remember to use spark power, because sometimes you can forget, because you got to use it before you get the rock power, or else you're just done, and then bang! <laughs> yeah, it's just so funny, <laughs> the expression he makes, just watching him fly. There's something really cool about just taking really powerful shots in this game, no matter how they come up to be. So, here's the only thing that can really go wrong in this hole. It's kind of a user error, but kind of not. I mean, how are you supposed to plan for this? What goes wrong here? Well, I just don't catch all of the warp speed there, and I even missed even more of it than I did in the original take of this hole. I don't know what to make about that. But, well, that's kind of a user error. But it's actually pretty hard to make sure you get all of the warp speed because you gotta... I mean, you gotta come... Because you're coming off a of bounce. So, I mean, if you don't, like, bounce right on the edge of it, what are you gonna do? You can't really... It's hard to control, you know? Like, look, I'm just barely gonna get there. And then you use the spark, go through all the crackos, and then get the good bounce in between the arrows. Yeah, and then off the wall, and then rock into the hole. So, yeah. A lot of things can go wrong in this game, but when everything goes right, it looks pretty cool. Well, this video is going to end pretty abruptly, so I hope y'all liked it, and hopefully I'll be able to do something similar for Course 8. See ya.